Niggas trapped in a box. Too much spread out here for you to be worried about the next nigga. Only so many times you can travel around the sun. Do better while you can, nigga. Yeah, tits. Hi, <laughs> yeah. y'all. My name is Marty. I'm here for the Couch Series. Right now, I'm in the LES at Full Traeger with BIC, also known as Bitches is Crazy. Fuck all that basic shit, basic shit. All in my ear like a basic bitch. What type of nigga you? Right. Type of nigga you, 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 you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys introduce yourselves for us, please? Yeah, I'm Pete. Fuck this nigga Pete, though. Is he? Is he? I'm Jesus. Those pills. And I'm drunk. <laughs> there he is. All right, yo. So you know, you know, the name is bitches is crazy. How many crazy girls have you actually dealt with? Oh, five million. Every single girl I've ever met. Name every, a girl in New York. Girl, yeah. Dealt with her. Every girl is crazy. Not every girl. Not every, every girl. Every bitch. Nah, every girl is crazy. Every bitch is crazy. Because girls aren't only bitches. Remember? There's Not niggas that's bitches too, so they crazy. Every bitch is crazy though. Every bitch. If we consider you a bitch, you crazy. Crazy bitch. Point blank. Period. All right. Now I know that you know they say that you guys are a group from the Bronx, and you guys are all from the Bronx, and you fuck with Brooklyn too. So are you guys all yeah, from the Bronx? Um, yeah, and... we are all from the boogie. Um, I live in Yonkers right now, like right on the borderline. Yeah, it's, it's from uptown, east side. North side, Riverdale. West side, Riverdale. Riverdale? He's white, so he has to be from Riverdale. <laughs> I'm an immigrant, then I lived in Brooklyn. Now I'm in the BX. Like, Gotta Texas let you know now, the struggle, so. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went from Brooklyn from to another Riverdale. Country, yeah. So it's very real, my nigga. From another country. We didn't just end up in Riverdale. We went from Brooklyn to Riverdale. Yeah, so it's very real out here. Alright, yo, so, question. Who's, who's the wildest one in the group? Oh. Right now, I would say Jonathan. Yeah, right now, today, right, right today now. I'd say right Jonathan. Right, right now, it's me, because you can suck my dick if you don't like B.I.C. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jeffy Jeffy right now, Jeffy Jonathan. Who would you say is the diva? The diva? That's the Elvis. Elvis. Right Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> my man, Elvis. He, you got a fashion designer, bro. <laughs> Why? Why? We got a stylist right now. My man Elvis, the only one with a stylist. My my nigga Pete in the game. You got a stylist, bro. So how long have you guys known each other? Poof. Wow, like seven? Five, six okay. years. Yeah. Like so how did how did the, the bitches is crazy? How did this like, group come to be? It, it was just like we were all friends at first. Like it wasn't even a rap thing. And then like Jonathan came across like my MySpace music page back in like fucking I forgot when. Or I fakely started the music shit, but my man <laughs> Pete definitely started the bitches is crazy shit in general. Cause he fucked with the craziest bitches that can get worse. So that's where the name came from? Yeah. I mean, crazy bitches, definitely. That's what the name but then it stems to everything else. We ended up meeting a lot of crazy bitch niggas that did a lot of bitch nigga shit. So. Fuck those niggas, man. <laughs> so, the other day, I was Googling you guys, right? And I came across something. It was a degeneration of ex hip hop. And I, you know, I wanted to know what that means exactly. I thought it was very interesting. Can you elaborate on that for us? Yeah, um, we were fucking avid wrestling fans when we were younger and shit. Like, OD fucked with DX, Generation X and shit. Like, they were just the badasses in wrestling. Like, they didn't give a fuck at all. They did whatever the fuck they wanted. They had bitches showing their titties, telling niggas to suck it. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> We just didn't give a fuck. Can I, can I possibly see a, a DX wrestling move? <laughs> That's the only <laughs> DX wrestling move you need to know. You'll, see, it, you'll see it on stage live. Fuck everything else, yeah. suck it, nigga. Come see us perform. That's the realest DX, That's the realest move ever in history of fucking wrestling, nigga. Suck it, nigga. That's all suck you need to know. It. Suck it. If you don't like it, then suck it. <laughs> bitch. Yeah. All right, so can you guys tell me a crazy bitch story? Just for, for those of us who have never come across a crazy bitch, like... I got a crazy bitch story, but it's not my own. So if Pete want to tell his story, tell that story, bro. He nah, can tell I'm it. If not, I'll tell it for him. You can do that. Can do right. that. So my man Pete was chilling with some very whole bitch, right? Oh, man. Bitches is crazy. You already know. And they was chilling in what happened to be this bitch's ex's building, right? Oh my god. So this nigga went, went and so fucked this bitch in front of her ex's door. My nigga, oh, my literally, That's like her head shit. was pressed against the door. My nigga, he was banging her head against the door while he was hitting doggy style. You a bitch got banged out by my nigga Pete. He left the condom on the door now. Left the condom. <laughs> on the door now. Wow, I never heard that part Are of the story, serious? bro. You really left the condom on the door she now. Did. She did. She did. That's some crazy. Bitches is ass crazy. Shit. That's all you need to know. So, what do you, what do you, what do you guys think your average listener looks like? Us. Like a high beast, like a dickhead. <laughs> like a dickhead. <laughs> like a dickhead. <laughs> 
call them big heads. Like a dickhead. Yo, our average listener probably look like a fucking meathead. Word. With some Jordans What's and a meathead. Like he probably wears some Jordans head. and like a fucking Supreme T-shirt oh, man. And, <laughs> and a fucking Cortel U hoodie because he's fucking fly. Because he understands that we fly and we wear Cortel U. Cortel U. Shouts to Cortel U. So you guys don't sound like a lot of the music that's coming out of New York right now. What's what's in your speakers? What are you guys listening to? Oh shit. Um, everything from Kendrick Lamar. Long Village to Kendrick to to old. I like Doom. Like, I got a couple of Joe Budden fans in here. Random shit. Everything from from one end of the spectrum to the other. Shots to French, just because. Yeah, yeah, I like French. I like mad shit. Hip-hop. I don't know. I like everything. Yo, everything so hip hop. Other, other than hip hop, what are you guys listening to? The gorillas. Gorillas. I fuck with the gorillas. Gorillas, yeah. Gorillas, yeah. Um, I still listen to I some like Eric Badu. Shit, I fuck yeah. with Lick Lee. Shouts to Eric Badu. I fuck with Erica. I've seen her a couple of times. She's amazing. I like Lauren Hill until she started making that shit she making now. Yo, did you hear that that vampire killer song? Nope. She's like screaming, yo. yo no. I didn't hear that shit, but I heard that neurotic society shit where she's just going, <laughs> 50 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, Alright, so, so um, what's up with you guys? Um, what are you guys from the, well, all of you are from the Bronx. So who did you grow up listening to more? Big Pun or Fat Joe? And why? Big pun. Big pun, definitely. Big pun. Because he wrote everything for Pat Jones. Yeah. So. so basically, we heard him all the time. All the yeah. time, yeah. <laughs> big pun was the fucking realist. Word. Like, I fucking Swing love Big right Pun. There. He's from the X, so I have a very huge bias to Big Pun. Yeah. He's the fucking realist in the game type shit. I mean, I'll tell you that because he's from the X. He's from the X. <laughs> but that nigga OD nice. And he's a great rapper. Yeah, he was a great rapper. Great, so great fucking rapper. nice. Great so. Rapper. Rapper's rapper. So, you guys, what do you have upcoming, like, as far as your projects? What are you working on now? Well, Influencers dropped 16th of April, so that's out. Influence. The OPM video is out now. F-U-K, um, W-I-T dot us. Dot us. We're working on some videos right now. We're working on the Bussy Love video and the That's Right video. And those shits are coming soon. So, besides that, we just Mac and Yaka fucking listen to the Influence Project. Go Google Influence. B-I-C, bitches is crazy. And you can hear that shit. That's got a lot of random new videos. Really coming got soon. I'll tell you that. Yeah, new yeah we got some new shit coming this summer. It's always coming soon. It's, it's always summer coming. at the latest. Would there be possibly any solo projects coming from you guys? Yeah. Well, yeah. All of us. All We're of looking us. for solo projects from all of us, truthfully. I just don't know when them shit's coming out. Yeah. Whenever we feel this time, they coming very yeah. soon. I feel you all. Well. Our solo projects kind of work like how Wu-Tang solo projects work, though, where everybody works on the project. So it's kind of like a... Either way, it's going to be a project, project. project. Yeah, it's going to be B-I-C. Yeah. But, you know, the, the main person that's working on it gets their full creative control. Word, word, that's what's up. So there's no competition to, like, bring your, your first, your solo project out first, and then it's all, you know, uh, Oh, there's still, in together. a way there is. There's always competition. There's always yeah. competition. Oh, about these niggas in the group. That's way nicer than now. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's <laughs> way nicer than this nigga to my left and <laughs> this nigga to my right. And it's always like that. And they think know? the same thing, you feel me? Yeah. So fuck these niggas, honestly. That's how we got good. It's always comp. That's hip hop. Hip hop is competition. So fuck everybody. <laughs> if you're scared of the competition, you shouldn't be doing hip hop. Way too many people got sensitive over that shit. Because I like, I like in a, in a sense, to treat this like a sport. I'm here to rap, and I'm here to rap better than you. And if you feel you can rap better than me, prove it. If you can't, don't get so sensitive. Bro. That's yeah. it. I'm always trying to rap better than the niggas. Than anyone, anyone, anyone. I'm trying to Everybody. rap better than. Well, well, the four, the three niggas next to me are probably better than anyone in the game. So I'm trying to rap better than these niggas because that makes me feel good. I'll be. What's I'll the point be. of being mediocre? I want to be I'll the best. I'll <laughs> I'll I'll literally, Lynn. <laughs> Literally, Lynn. <laughs> so I know you guys all grew up in the Bronx. Now I used to live in the Bronx. I used to live on 164 Ogden, but that was very short-lived. Um, to the rest of New York, the Bronx is still somewhat like from the people I've talked to, is still somewhat a very foreign territory. So where do you guys hang out? Like where do you hang out? What's the poppin' places? <laughs> is like, in my hang out <laughs> all the time. at all times. I can't fuck with what this What the fuck nigga. is wrong, with you, bro? We hang Don't. out in Vegas, bro. We ha- that's not Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> we hang out in Las Vegas. Vegas at all times. Damn, y'all so hot. Bro. You so you so hot. hot. Get out. Oh, you so hot. Get out. Shut the Just fuck up. Tell everybody where we at. So what's the, the fuck, what's the what's the coolest thing you guys have done so far to you know really got put you on the map? You know whether it be a show, an interview, or anything. What's the coolest thing you guys have done so far? How did your story really right? Yes, it did. Yes, that shit was fun as fuck. Yeah, that shit was fun as fuck. What happened? That's the record. Um, we did mad shit for that video. Word. Mad reckless shit. And Smoked a blunt on the train at 4:30. We did so much shit. Had 
four bitches twerking on my bed during the video. We're I, swerving in Harlem in front cool. of Apollo. Like, that shit was... Word, we definitely swerved on yeah, fucking that 25th was, and first That half. shit was live as fuck. I was hanging out the Jeep. Like, and then mad people wind up liking this shit. And it's a catchy ass song, so... We prefer we're far side. Did y'all get chased by the feds? Nah. Nah? I feel like every day is... close to Every day is some new shit, right? Like, every day we reach some shit that we never really reached before. We do some shit that we never really did before. We performed and opened for Far Side, so that was kind of wavy. We, we started to meet all the people that we fucking grew up on, so that's kind of wavy. We do that shit every other day. That's some wavy shit right now. Thank you guys so much for coming out with us today. Can you let us know where we can reach you guys at um, via social networks? Yeah, yeah. Go download Influence at F-U-K-W-I-T.us. Fuck with us. H-T-T-W. BIC all day dot com. Remember that. BIC forever at Twitter. At BIC forever. We love tits. This is crazy. Tumblr.com. Bitches is crazy. Tumblr.com. Right Remember that. You can also reach right us Athens New Renaissance at AthensNewRent.com or at Athens New Rent. Once again, this is Marty with the Couch Series, and we out. Yeah.